for each of those uh, specifics on the housing uh, levy. And this is why it is important uh, to the president. Let's take a look at this. It was actually part of the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, where they um, pledged to have 250 billion shillings set aside for the coming financial year um, for accessible and adequate housing. 50 billion was to come from uh, budgetary commitments and another 200 billion to be funded from pension. And then they also planned to raise the number of mortgages from about 30,000 to 1 million in that time. Uh, but this is the true number of uh, mortgages that we have in the country. That's 26,723 mortgages as of the uh, 2022, okay? So this is their plan, and that is why they're being taken through it uh, quite seriously. They also wanted out of those mortgages that they set up that people are able to pay at least 10,000 shillings or below for the mortgages. So how do they do that? It's that now controversial uh, planning in there, which is 3% of an employee's monthly contribution, with 3% being matched by the employer, all of those being capped at a total of 5,000 shillings. So this is exactly what they were being taken through today because when they go to parliament, they will be expected to support that and pass it through. Now, of course, the big question continues as to whether this is feasible. Let's talk to my guest tonight to get some more explanation on this. Thank you very much for joining us. We have urban planning and housing expert, Professor Alfred Omenia, and we also have Dr. Abraham Rugo from the International Budget Partnerships. Gentlemen, maybe I start with you. Um, Alfred, is this uh, feasible, these numbers that we're seeing, possible? No. Well, I mean, the, the entire government uh, housing uh, program, including, uh, including uh, uh, the numbers that are being touted and, uh, and what the government intends to do, um, is not feasible at all. In fact, I think the only thing that uh, would be feasible is the actual monies that the government would be able to collect mm -hmm. from, uh, from the taxpayer. Um, the sort of numbers that uh, you look at 250,000 houses per year yes. uh, through a government program. Um, the previous government that in fact the peers uh, basically came from that same government um, delivered less than 20,000 20, houses in, in, in 10 years. Mm. Uh, so so what, what magic will actually happen that would enable delivery of uh, 250,000 houses in a year is not possible. First, the industry can't even support it. We don't have the labor to do, to do that. We don't have the materials to do that. But the government says they will we, now provide, I mean, the labor will now come out of uh, the need we, and the demand for it. We don't even have, uh, yes, well, uh, you know, that, that is like saying that, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you have a lot of sick people, then uh, you'll have very many doctors. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you need to actually do the training of, of, of this. Uh, um, the, the, the construction sector is a pretty special, a specialized sector, as it actually were. Uh, and and um, even some of the basic things like, you know, painting and so on, um, you know, uh, requires some, some level of skills. It's, it is not that sector where you can just go out on the streets and actually collect people. But, but, but what you're saying is that this same government actually tried, has tried in the past, yeah. and we give them credit for that. They tried, for example, to do police housing. Yeah. Uh, and um, th they're targeted to do 10,000 police police housing units in uh, in uh, in five years mm -hmm. and they're, they're only able to do in fact a thousand uh, yeah but but the more fundamental questions uh, Yvonne that you must actually ask about this what is the problem that government is trying to solve mm -hmm. uh, what problem exactly is it um, who are these homeless Kenyans that government is trying to house and, 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 and government is trying to impose you know, additional lever, uh, levies at this particular point in time you know, to be able to, uh, to, to solve this problem. Okay. Uh, and so we must be asked, what is, the, what is the housing question? What is the housing problem okay. that government is trying to solve? All right, let's, right. Uh, let's leave it at that and we'll come back and talk a little bit more right. about that. Um, Abraham, 3%. Is it a house, is it a tax, is it a levy, is it a savings, <laughs> and why does it matter what we call it? I think it matters uh, what we call it because, uh, uh, first of all, if it's a tax or it's a levy, uh, first it will not be available to, to you back, it will not be given back to you. But again, making it an argument that it's a saving, then it has to be uh, optional. It cannot Correct. be a forced saving. You cannot force me to save for what I already own. Um, and I think it is important uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to, to be able to address two questions. One, that the 3% in inadvertently uh, actually suggests that an employer is planning to increase salary. 
uh, of its of his employees, mm -hmm. uh, because then the three percent contribution is actually an added cost of the right. business mm -hmm. uh, right. to to the business. Two, uh, it also assumes that every salaried Kenyan desires uh, to own a One home mm -hmm. uh, and through the process. Let me give you an example. So if you contribute, uh, and we did the math, uh, that uh, the only people who will be able to contribute five thousand is somebody who earns at least 82,000 Kenya shillings, mm -hmm. uh, because that's when it comes to about 2,500, 2,500. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to buy a house in Nairobi uh, through the affordable scheme of 3 million, uh, it means that uh, for you to own it by contributing, yeah. uh, you can contribute 60,000 in a year. And therefore, for you to own a house of 3 million, you need 50 years. Um, you, so I was working out with one of my colleagues who is 23 years old, mm -hmm. and it occurred to us that by the time he owns that house, he will be 73 years. Okay. Um, right. so, 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 so really, it's a question of what kind of, as Prof has asked, what kind of a need. Uh -huh. But let me also address this with, 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 with the numbers. That yeah. according to the census, 80% of people in the rural areas own the homes they live in. Right. Uh -huh. In the city, it's 20%. Uh -huh. Right. Now, of these 20%, there are a lot of them are people who have a fair income or are members of a savings uh, and credit cooperative, okay. a SACO. Okay. And that's how they have been able to. So, so really, the, the, the need you're trying to deal with uh -huh. is perhaps located completely elsewhere. Most okay. of the people mm -hmm. actually want to rent. Okay. So, yeah. All right. That's an interesting point.